the following segment, I will be uh, evaluating uh, the website um, dealing with the Pacific Northwest tree octopus. Um, the method that I will be using is the real method, um, which deals with uh, reading the URL, examining the content, asking about the uh, author, and looking into the links that the website provides. I started out by looking up top and uh, at the URL, and I noticed that it's a .NET. Now, although .NETs can be valuable websites, they're not as um, reliable as a .gov or a .edu um, or a .org. So, I, I, I sort of going into the, going into this a little apprehensive about whether this site is valid and authentic. The second thing that they ask in the real method is to examine the content. Now, reading through this uh, content of the web page, I notice that it talks about Sasquatches. And Sasquatches, as most educated people will know, is a mythical character or myth mythical being. And that sort of starts to put my decision on whether this is a valid uh, site uh, into question. Uh, the next thing I looked at is I thought I would click on media, or excuse me, sightings. And as I go into sightings, I notice that there's pictures uh, of various supposedly uh, sightings of this octopus. I scroll down and I notice, you know, in, in reading some of these, I tell you it's a little comical in the fact that this one gentleman puts out a dollar bill in order to attract the so-called tree octopus. Um, I scroll down more. This doesn't look real at all. Um, but I finally get to the blue octopus at the bottom and I notice that that is... Uh, something that sort of looks unbelievable and not something I would think would be a real animal. So I went back to the home page here. And so I, overall in the content of things, looking at the fact that they're bringing up Sasquatches through their pictures and sightings, uh, the content is not very valid. Um, the third thing they ask about is the author. Now I scrolled all the way through this web page and I did not find uh, an actual author, but what I did notice is that there it, it, at the bottom it says address concerns to Lyle Zapato. And I thought to myself, well, who is Lyle Zapato? So I asked if there's any answer questions here. And it takes me to this other webs web page and it says right here, I am Lyle Sabato. So I clicked on this link to find out who he was. And uh, he's a mythical character of sorts, uh, especially with the fact that he's from uh, a mythical place. Um, and he has multiple aliases. Uh, so I know that the author of this uh, web page is not someone of expertise or someone with an educational background in octopus or octopi. Uh, the last thing I did was look in the links. And the first link they have is Temperate Rainforest that takes me to Wikipedia and talks about Temperate rain Rainforest. And although Wikipedia can be a reliable source, it can be edited by almost anyone. So it's not a very valid site. Um, I scrolled down some more and I decided that I would click on the word Sasquatch because that was the word that really tipped me off that this site wasn't very valid and I did so. And it brings me to the, re the Bureau of Sasquatch Affairs which also happens to be 
associated with Lyle Zapata. So we know that even the links that are provided on this site are all fictitious. Or some of them are fictitious. And with that being the case, uh, I've come to the conclusion that this is a site that is a hoax that doesn't provide any real information uh, or factual information about this so-called animal uh, called the Pacific Northwest Tree Octopus.